The Dallas Mavericks traded for Kyrie Irving at last year's deadline. They had the intentions of bringing him back in the offseason when he became a free agent. That's exactly what happened on Friday with Irving and the Mavs. On day one of free agency, first reported by Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN, the Dallas Mavericks re-signed Kyrie Irving to a new three-year deal. The deal reportedly is worth $126 million and they will have him locked up until at least 2026. Irving was going to meet with the Suns on Friday, but it was canceled. Therefore, after the Irving's meeting with the Suns was canceled, he turned his attention back to the Mavs and re-upped with them. The main reason why Dallas traded for Irving last February was because Mavs president Nico Harrison was one of the top guys at Nike and had a great relationship with Irving during their time at the Swoosh. The Duke product has now played for four teams, and they are the Cavs, Celtics, Nets, and Mavs. However, despite being a premier point guard in the league, he has left every place where he has been at on a mess. A year removed from their championship in 2016, the eight-time All-Star wanted out because he wanted to be the main man with a new team. When he was dealt to Boston in 2017, he was there for only two seasons and then sailed to Brooklyn. The relationship also soured in Boston as their relationship between Irving and the organization became unmanageable. After Irving joined forces with Kevin Durant in Brooklyn, they could not find a way to make it because of many distractions such as injuries, poor acquisitions, and not being consistent enough as the team failed to even reach the conference finals. Before last season started, Irving demanded a trade and eventually got his wish as he was finally dealt to the Mavs for Spencer Didwitty, Doreen Finney-Smith Jr., 2027 second round pick, a 2029 first round pick, and a 2029 second round pick for Kyrie Irving and Markeith Morris. Irving also had a wild offseason last year as he was suspended for the first 10 games of the season after he posted a link to an anti-Semitic post on Twitter. After he was dealt to the Mavs, he played well alongside superstar Luka Doncic. However, they struggled at the end of the season and failed to make the playoffs and didn't even make the play-in game. Despite all this, Irving and Doncic played well together. It was just their defense that there was their downfall. In Irving's career, he has averaged 23 points, 5.7 assists, close to 4 rebounds, and has 47% field goal percentage, along with 39% from the three-point line. When he was dealt to Dallas, he averaged close to 27 points per game, along with 6 assists, 5 boards, and 20 games played in the Lone Star State. With Irving and Doncic having a chance to play a full season together, we will see how well the Mavericks do and if they can return to the playoffs. In other news revolving around NBA free agency, the Indiana Pacers have signed fourth-year guard Tyrese Halliburton with a massive extension. The Indiana Pacers rewarded Halliburton with a very lucrative deal as he received a five-year extension for $260 million. The new extension will account for 30% of the Pacers' salary cap when it kicks in before the 2024-2025 season begins because it will move up to 10%. The Iowa State product had a breakout year last season and made his first All-Star game. The former 12th overall pick averaged 20 points per game, close to 4 rebounds per game, 10 assists per game, and close to 2 steals in 33 minutes played, with 62% sh true shooting percentage. He was originally drafted by the Kings in the 2020 draft and was traded to Indiana for All-NBA big man. Because of the efforts from the 23-year-old guard, the Pacers scored 116.9 points per game, which was tied for 5th in the league, although their main problem with Indiana last year was their defense, which was the second worst in the association. Despite all that, the Pacers still have the money to go out and get a superstar if they want to. With the emergence of Halliburton, the Indiana Pacers have a great chance to make the playoffs for the first time since 2020.